Alright guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4 action. In this video, we're just going to be building stuff over here for our little, uh, we're going to be building our house and our little encampment. But the first thing I do want to do is I want to get food, um, because I don't have enough. I believe I need six, uh, no, I need twelve, no, I need six food for all the settlers, but, like, I actually need five, but I'm going to get six. Just that one settler already has maxed out food, I believe I need 12 of like food, uh, 12 food items that produce 0.5 food, because 12 times 0.5 equals 6. So I just need to go across here and then go over there to Abernathy Farm. There shouldn't be any enemies here, maybe a couple bullet flies, I'm not sure where. But maybe we probably killed them off. I had to... I'm recording this because the other time I tried to record it, I, I, my audio was horrible. Like, it was like, like, it was, oh, it wasn't even okay. It was horrible. Like, I sounded like I pooped my pants. Not really, but I don't know how to explain it. I just sounded horrible. Oh, we sort of have wild mongrels over here. I want to see if I can kill one. Where's my dog? The dog. This dog will kill me. My dog bit the dust. It's like, nah, I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, maybe I can get a hide advantage up here. I'm going to try to get a hide advantage. I do want to kill those dogs for any free XP I can get, but I feel like I will die. Is, it, is there an alpha? Or is it just a regular? Okay, just a regular wild. Turn right in the head. Dude, his head is crippled. Pow. Pow. Missed both of those shots. Great. Go attack dog meat, not me. I don't deserve to die. Oh no, they're smart. Drive all the tough cocktails, I believe I do. I need to use those just for some instant damage. Well, there goes my dog. At least I can kill the other one. With this Molotov. Wow. That was just a direct hit. Small tops against these wild mongrels are great. We get some easy food now. And some free XP. Oh, I thought that one was still alive. I'm sort of just glitched. There we go. Alright. There's a quest that goes with this settlement, but once we get the crew from Concord, then I'll get the quest. So I just need... That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. No, I'll just get the quest now. Should have eight, right? I've lost count. We have eight brain fungus. Just plant some brain fungus. Potatoes. I have ten. Let me already have enough. Me too. One. Two. You have anything to trade? If you look into trade, you can talk to my wife. She's up by the house. But be warned. You try anything? You're asking for a fight. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. What kind of crops do you grow here? Mostly potatoes so far, but we're starting on melons. Blake Abernathy. It's been ages since I've seen one of those vault suits around. You new to these parts? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. 
Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all like, the he's sort of phasing through that little stand of the taters. Raiders. The name alone says something. You really are new. The name's only the tip of the iceberg. They're well armed, take what they want, and kill whoever gets in their way. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. What happened to the Minutemen? Don't rightly know. I suppose they just went on to other things. The Raiders are certainly making the most of the opportunity. I don't have much to offer, but those Raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket, too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Alright, so we just gotta go to the USA of Satellite Station, Olivia. We'll do that later on. We have a little workshop here that we can use to cook food. Or ally right, to the settlement. That's alright. I need to cook some food real quick. I'm already super close to another level up. If we cook some food, we might get there. Never mind. Alright. I am loving these Creation Club items because I can, like, they're really, what I want to say, Creation Club items are more balanced, way better than mods. Yeah, I will. Uh, so now you only have, like, a select few to decide from, and e even in those select few, they're still pretty good. People like also our arcade machines and stuff, which is brilliant. I do have two, should I say three, because one of them is a rifle set. Uh, I have the, I forgot, I forgot what, I think it's C7R something, I don't, I don't forgot, but it's a combat rifle, and it takes 5.56 five, ammo, and I don't have 5.56 five, ammo, but the Manuel rifle set, which is one of the Creation Club items I have, takes 308 rounds, so I will get the Manuel rifle set, because one of them is pretty good. I'm not going to get it now, because some of them are legendary, and I want to have the legendary effect. So, I'll uh, I'll wait until, I'm pretty sure I'm level 10, I think, to go ahead and get them. So, I think it'll just be like the regular versions, and I want the legendary effects with them. I'm not sure if I will get the legendary effects, but it's whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and start putting down the crops first, because the crops are one of the most hardest things to get right. We want resources, food, we want, first up, let's get, uh, let's get these out of here. So we want only these right here. We have 12, we can make 6 on each side. One right there. One right there. Uh oh. Bang, dude, it just spread out. I'm 
There we go. Yeah, there we go. We have some good crops coming in. Push these a little bit more forward. You can see building power right over coming beacon a whole lot because it's not going to shut up about it until I get one. You have enough space, you know, you can walk through and get your potatoes if you want. So I'm a little bit forward, like right there. Boom. Perfect. Alright, it's a little bit on a hillside. This alright. Next up we have the floor, which is uh would I say the floor is harder than the crops? Yeah. I like it that way. One. Right. Also, you can see if I press E, I'll just regularly change one. But if you hold down E, you can change all of them. Oh, but be careful because it might clip a couple of their things. So let me store that real quick. Yeah, it might clip with a whole bunch of other things that is close to it. So now you can see it's perfectly straight. Oh, not really. Now I can see it's perfectly straight. Oh, not really. Keep seeing a little bit white, and it's not straight. Alright, there we go. It may, it may be a little bit lopsided off. The edge. Oh, that's only one. Oops. There we go. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but it's straight enough to the point where you know where you won't notice. Right now, I'm going to just speed through this because I feel like nobody really wants to watch just me placing down stuff and just being quiet for a whole bunch of time.
Okay, so this is just the basic frame of the house that we've got so far. We got the little support beams for the second floor. We have the little doorway. Now it's gonna there's nothing in here, it's just the basic stuff. It's gonna be like the workshop area. Up here is gonna be like the beds. Over here is like if a, if we're getting attacked or something at night, we can go over here and like scope them from that area, or we can go on ahead and scope them from that area over there. Actually, what is that up there? You guys, oh, that's the Vault 111 thing up there. Okay, good. And if you also come in attacking from over there, then we kill them. You guys, like, if you like, if I go to my site, you see, like, it gets less foggy. Look at that, all the fog is gone. If I bring back my sights, all the fog is back. Then, like, if they're attacking from over there, like, if we'll see creature somehow comes out, then we can attack them easily. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, with guard posts, we're gonna have a, you can just have, you can actually have one person patrolling all this. Because one person is actually two people. It's four times. I'm pretty sure two is eight. Are you sure that gives us two feet, two defense? Because one person, yeah, one person gives us six defense total. So we'd have one person patrolling three, and then another person just patrolling one. So yeah, the more you know. And now I'm gonna get to the decorating and all that other boring nonsense. So let me speed this up for you as well. Alright, so we just reached level 5, now I can put the perks in. Also, I'm pretty sure if I go into my shift plus tab, I'm pretty sure you guys can see this, but if not, I'll just say it. I'm gonna go to my achievements, which is achievements. There it is. I thought the DLC was achievements, I don't know why. Um, I got this one because remember I said I tried to previously record it and it didn't work, but I did get that, build 100 workshop items. I got that, as you can see, it was a different time right now, it's 9.33pm. I took a long break because I got mad about that. Um, and we still have, look at all these other achievements we have. 80. So yeah, I'm gonna go on ahead and put the perks into Endurance. And then we're gonna go get the perk that I wanted the most, which we will actually get use out of this episode. Aqua Boy. Water your ally no longer take radiation and damage from swimming. Radiation damage from swimming and can breathe underwater. So we don't need any air. Perfect. Uh oh, my tab key is not working. That's an issue, because then I can't get out of here. Can I still quick save? I can't quick save. Great. How am I supposed to get out of here? Uh, because my close key isn't working. Can I just press close? <gasps> Thank God. How do I get out of here? Okay. This is an issue I had before where my tab key just decided to stop working. Watch, I'm, I'm pressing my tab key right now and I'm not getting out. Very simple fix. Just go settings, controls, so you find it. Pip boy set it to a random one. I can get out. Alright, I'm gonna do a hard save right now and I'm gonna restart my game so my tab key can actually work. And if you just wanna do it, just go settings, controls, you just go T defaults and then boom will be everything will be re default. Enter. Yep. Actually, let me do a hard save right now. Alright, guys, so I'll be right back. Alright, so my tab key should work now. Yep, it works fine. So let's go on ahead and keep on going through here. I added some little water purifier pumps. They're powered. Let's pump like up some it's water. in working order. And yeah, it's in working order. We got the power over here. We can turn them off. But man, I don't really feel like it. Then it's not gonna run that, uh, run, not the wall, this. Alright, uh, you should be able to hear me and the game audio a little bit more clearly. I'm sorry if it's not been clear the last few episodes. I don't know what's been happening to my laptop. It just 
weird. I changed my settings on my OBS, so you should be able to hear me and the game audio more clearly. Again, sorry about that, but let's keep let's get back to building and creating. guys this is what we got going on so far we go ahead and go in here you know we got a little kitchen place we got a little barber shop a surgical place you not we're not to assign people there we have our workbenches all along this area weapons you know stuff like that we got a little couch area 200 years later they're still comfy don't mind about that little missing stuff right there we got sean's crib we can activate it what is it what does that mean It means nothing. I'm pressing E. We have our bubble head stand. We have our magazine rack. I don't think we have any magazines currently. Oh no, we do. We have Cognac the Barbarian. Boom. Just one magazine. We have our little Nuka World. Nuka Cola. Nuka World. Nuka Cola machine. A little milk vending machine. No, it's not going to be. It's not going to be a cottage cheese vending machine because we just made it. A little dog house for dog meat. It has got a couple plants. And now we're gonna be doing the second floor. I might add like a little mat or something here. Doing the second floor. Also right here I put little signs like for tools. No smoking tools. And we have saloon over there. Now we're gonna put beds here. I wanna show you something really cool from the creation club item that I have. Uh, I can build the beds. Well, obviously I can build beds either way, but I can build beds with two pillows and beds and a bunk bed. I'm gonna use red because it matches my red vault jumpsuit. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it.
All right, guys, now it's time for the grand reveal. We have the stuff. Oh, let me add a couple of things outside real quick. I forgot to add these out here. Industrial wall lights. One right there. there. Just a quick little just, uh, thing to show you. Have our door out here. If we open the door. We go inside and get immediately uh, welcomed by electricity. I was able to get the, I was able to get it through the wall because if a con if you put a mat and you put a conduit over the mat, you have, and then you select the mat to move it, you can move the mat anywhere and the conduit will and like the wire will go through walls. So if you just want some electricity to go through without having, you know, to manually config it, like manually change it. So yeah, we got some fluorescent lighting. We have Sean's crib. You know, I mean, this is gonna be his crib. You see what I did there? It's not funny, never mind. Just need to stop. We got our, like I said, workbenches over here. We got our couches over here. Little cooking station over here. We, oh. There goes the thing again. Oops. Sorry about that. Let me see if this will work. It will. Great. Oh. Ah. Wait a minute, guys. Alright, it's mainly update. Please say it'll work. I don't think so. There we go. Alright, great. Our game is good. Alright, perfect. Sorry about that. My, I, I don't look at my... I don't have a tam... A tam? A time to look at my battery. So if it goes down, it just goes down. Alright, so we got Bobblehead's Den. We got our... Rognock the Barbarian. Then we go through here. We got all of our beds up here. You know, nothing too fancy. We got a couple fans, you know. But just don't make sure to jump. Or I'll shred. Like that. Ow. I'm not good. Go out here, you know, I have a little base, you know, just the guy here, and look, if there's any bad guys out there, did I forget to do that house, I think I forgot to do that house, I forgot about that house over there, just grab everything inside, I remember I forgot that one too, but I already did it, I'll just do it real quick, if I remember, and then we go up here, you know, we got all, got all, got all of our defense, I can't speak, up here, let's go ahead and do it, do that other place real quick. It's really quick. Um, no, so I'm building so far. It's been pretty fun. Did I even do most of it? No, I didn't even do any of it. Scrap that. Store that. Scrap. 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 So basically, a good thing to do is whatever is highlighted in like your UI color is what you can store whatever isn't hiding hi, like whatever is highlighting in yellow is what you can only scrap but of course like the junk you can obviously scrap that because that stuff is already going to be broken down if you even put it in the workshop so I might as well already scrap it just be done with it see I can store that but this this I can select it and move it but the thing is I can't store it because I don't have patio furniture unlocked so what i can do is i can just go through here and just put like a little grill outside if i really wanted to and i'm going to just for cosmetics i'm at a basketball hoop too all right uh miscellaneous let's go all the way down so i really love basketball here we go You know, you better be good at shooting bank shots or else you're not going to know if that goes in or not. Boom. Better be good at them bank shots. It sucks that you can't actually play basketball. I feel like that'd be like a oh, super cool thing to add if you could actually play basketball in this game. You would get so many more people. It's really easy to build. You should have like your, or you can make your own basketball court. And you can make your own basketball stadium too. 
If there's not a mod about that, there has to be a mod about that. Like, there, there's pause there. Like, someone has to sit down and take time to actually do that. Like, I think I did some parts of this house, but then other parts I didn't do, because look at this. It's completely empty. This room completely empty. Unless I already did that room. I could have already did that room. I just didn't know. That's like an immediate left. Or right. I don't even know, guys. I forgot. Well, there goes that. Alright. So you can't scrap the bathroom scales. Okay. Oh, the lighter. I almost forgot about that. Boop. Alright, perfect. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of preparation done. We got our got a couple of XP levels. XP levels, we got a couple of levels. Now we are level five with endurance of five, I believe. Yup. Now it can be underwater. All right, this video might be short because I don't know what time it is because it has been almost an hour for me and I'm super tired, so I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4. You know, just a little bit of settlement. But don't tell me I forgot about this house, too. No, I didn't. I just forgot about the fridge. I remember I did this one. How do you forget about the fridge in this house? Oh. Alright. Oh, well, yeah. Oops. Alright, yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4. We got a little basketball hoop. Better be good at shooting corner bank shots too, or you're not gonna know if that goes in. Unless you have really good sights. Now someone could be grilling out here, and then if you miss a shot, dunk, there goes your basketball. No, uh, no, what happened? I don't think so, unless like you're shooting really far, like all the way over here. Like, like regular three point line. No. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're getting off track. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4. And I'll uh, see you next time, guys. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.